Lovers are back and celebrating sweethearts. It is Melissa Saunders and hey. Jennifer Monroe. Hello, hi. Mommy MacGyver. Good morning. I walked in. I missed my mom so much. I walked in. I was like, hi, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> now, today we're, we're doing something really fun because we're doing edible and wearable treats for Valentine's yes. Day. So good morning good to both morning. of you. Good morning. This is a great idea. So let's start with edible first. Perfect. What, what are you going to make for us? This is two ingredient fudge. Okay. So the story behind this is that when I was in Arizona, I had a neighbor next door with small children and okay. she used to invite all the neighborhood kids over for Thanksgiving and Christmas and Valentine's Day. And she would open up the little package of pre-made dough from the grocery store and she'd open yeah. up the package of pre-made frosting. Uh -huh. They would make cookies. Okay. And I always looked down on that because I'm gonna make cookies from scratch. Yeah. Frosting from scratch is not really cookies unless you've mixed up the 27 ingredients. Right. The bottom line is, what do her kids and all the neighbor kids remember? What? She made cookies every That's holiday. All it is. That's, That's all they, they care about. Doesn't so, matter how long it took. So or what this you is use. two ingredient fudge. This I love is it. White chocolate chips. Okay. Now, if you're gonna make a whole batch, you use the whole package. You dump it in. Okay. You microwave it for about a minute and a half, and okay. then you stir this up. So this has been melt melted already. Okay. And, oh, uh, turn the word dump. Like really recipe that I missed. Favorite. Yes. Jennifer loves that. <laughs> now this is strawberry <laughs> frosting, and again, there's absolutely no nutritional value in this recipe None. whatsoever. <laughs> oh, I don't even really like call it a screen. recipe. And oh. um, so you're just going to stir that in really fast. Oh my gosh, you know I'm going to be getting really spoon fast. spoonfuls of this. And, and it's then, gonna shake, as, as soon as sounds. you get it all kind of incorporated, I'll give you a little tiny bit more. I love your bracelets. Thanks. Oh, I got to escape them. Oh my God, I can right. totally eat the whole thing of pink okay. frosting. Once you get that incorporated, this has been just buttered, and I lined it with a little piece of wax paper. Okay. So you just, and you can use any pan at all for that. Okay. And it, when it gets done. It's fun. It's a good arm workout, by the way. Dump that in there. When it's <clears> done. Uh -huh. Dump it all in? It, yep, dump it in, spread it out. Okay. It'll turn into a dough really fast. Really? It looks like that. Oh my gosh! Isn't that great? Like 20 minutes in the and fridge? It smells so yummy. And it's sugar. It's pure sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you use a little tiny cookie cutter and you just make little shapes. Oh and God. we've made some of these here and they're in the little tins. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you I'm make the little finger. hearts. Like mm. that. This one's hard because it's been in the fridge too long. Okay. But you make the little hearts like that. Oh my gosh. And then you just put them in the little tins like that. This is great. So, and so kids and can we take these back to school with them. Yes, and kind of like bring the exactly. cellophane bag. Like spatula. Like the spatula. <laughs> so that is the easiest two ingredient fudge ever. It's fun for Valentine's Day. The kids had a blast with it. it my little girl took her two seconds. Yes. Super easy. Mm. My three year old did it. He, he loved did? it. We had yeah. so much fun. So this is easy. a great idea, Melissa. It's great for us because one bite and I'm totally sick. So it's great for me to not eat the whole thing. I'm good for the day. Yeah, Christ. I said, how does it taste, Jennifer? Because she made it first, and, the, and she said, oh. it's like eating pure sugar. Yeah. If, you, if you're five, like eating pure sugar, like cotton candy, but like it. in a more absorbed form, like perfect. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, yes. so that's the first idea. Yes. So, now, what's another idea? Uh, next, you know, with Mommy MacGyver's, we're always trying, we want to do purposeful activities, mm -hmm. and so we are going to make some jewelry. Oh, so these are the wearable for Valentine. treats. Yes. yes, wearable. Love this. So okay. we're going to start over here with um, Lego... Oh necklaces gosh. and these okay remember growing up you had like those best friend like heart necklaces you each uh, had a piece yes. this friendship is the same idea bracelets. so each person gets one of these lego pieces and these are called I call them power couplings. What are they called? They're called a coupling plate. A coupling plate. Yes. And they cost 20 cents. That's it? Or you can go through right. your kids' Legos, which okay. I did, and you can find them. And then you put chains on them. Um, and like they dog tag chain. Dog tag. Yeah. Look, or that right. goes together, and it makes a, a heart. Isn't that? And look, you can do a keychain. Um, here's some other options. You can just put some leather cord or actually make a necklace. These are the ones that I found in my kids' Legos. This but is look, so if you cool. go to Legos, Legos.com that for four fifty you can buy a package and Legos.com. Oh my god. And it's only four fifty, you know. $12 shipping, but who cares, right? <laughs> and um, and then you can like make have a whole kid that has a little jewelry box. It's really cute. So this, this is, is a great, great fun idea. option, yeah. especially for boys and kids yes. like that. I was just so. going to say, because yeah. you know, when you think about giving mm -hmm. boys gifts, you know, sometimes like, that's too girly, that's too girly. But a keychain's never girly. And yeah, you know, right. these are things that we all yeah. could use. So they can give one to their know. friend or family. And yeah. yeah. This came about because my eight-year-old Jack, who's uh -huh. not particularly, you know, sentimental necessarily, right. but he came to me last week and he said, you know those best friend necklaces, Mom? He's like, I wish I had one so that Jack and Hannah and Carter, when we all three stand close together, we could oh. put it together and it'll make something. And that same day I saw this idea online and I was like, that's perfect. the perfect thing because they're Lego maniacs. And it's and easy so, and it's right. cheap. Right. Yes. Let's be realistic so, here. We're not so yeah, they're fun. Huh? I love yes. this idea. 
idea. So, the okay. next idea, uh -huh. and this this we just think is like the best idea ever. Okay. Because <laughs> it's something that even people who don't have kids or whatever are going to want to do this. It's so much fun. Oh, gosh. It is good old salt dough. Um, salt dough is the base, the most basic recipe for salt dough. Okay. Is a cup of flour, a half a cup of salt, and a half a cup of water. And oh you literally, gosh. you stir it together in a bowl and makes this soft dough. That's it? That's, That's all so you do. I'm, I'm so sanitizing cool. my hands since uh, I just got them oh, all pink uh, frosted. Well, you're not going to be eating this. You're not going to so. yeah, <laughs> Well, I just want to make sure, you know. I don't want to let anybody on TV to say. She, had, she, she was licking the frosting and then she touched the dough. Okay, so you okay. mix it together. It takes 30 seconds. Okay. Next, you're going to roll it out. I'll hold the red thing and you Oh, roll. my gosh. You got a pink roll. Roll it out. And I you just want to roll it pretty flat but not super thin. There like you go. That? That's good. Okay. Yep. So now just don't use that edge. Okay. Then you're going to use a little cookie cutter or you can even do a free form shape if you want to cut out I your own like shape. kind of like the heart though. So, okay, make a heart. So you just... That's it? Uh-huh. Just make a heart okay. and then you lift this up. Okay, so now you have this really easy, easy, easy little heart, right? Uh-huh. Now, what you're going to do is kind of smooth the edges just a little bit all so right. it doesn't have all these jaggy kind of edges. Okay. You're going to use a chopstick, is what we <gasps> found, to make a hole in the center or you can make right it now? like we did offset if you want to make it offset however you want. Make a big oh, hole. Now, make that? it kind of big, kind I'll of zhuzh it around in there like that. I love to zhuzh. Good job. You know, just like to How's say that, that word. We like to. It has good? nothing to do with what Perfect. we're doing. Okay. <laughs> now this is your little heart. So what you're going to do next is put it in about a 200 degree oven. Okay. We had to bake our bigger ones for about three to four hours. Three to four hours. You can really? let it dry just by itself for a couple of days or overnight or whatever. Okay. Um, but baking it, it definitely did take two or three hours for the thicker, bigger ones to to bake. Okay. Once it's baked, it's going to look like this. Okay. It gets hard. Almost like yeah, it almost mm -hmm. looks like a like yeah, animal like crackers or right. like little treats. Right. Then okay. you're going to sand the yeah. edges, and this part is right important because you want to get all that kind of roughness off of it. Okay. So you sand it. Um, because we're Mommy MacGyvers, yeah, I used a nail use. file. Oh my gosh, I love <laughs> it, I love it. I didn't being have practical. Being practical so is important. It only took me three hours. Right, right. So you sand the rough edges off so that they're nice and smooth. Then you spray paint them with okay. silver spray paint. <gasps> Let the silver spray paint dry. Wait, these were from that? Yes. yes. And that's, that what that's what Look you're wearing? That's what we're wearing. Look at this. You guys have to yeah. look at these. And then, Jennifer, show yours. Because once we made them, they kind of so, took on each of our personalities. Yes, you spray paint them with the silver, and you let them dry both sides. For and about then, how long? Um, just like 20, 15, minutes 20 minutes each side. Okay. And um, it worked really well with my kids because I can do a little here, a little there. So spray paint for a sec, go let it dry, do other things, come back, okay. flip it, dry, come back. And so then after we have, um, you spray paint it and then you get black paint. And this is just temper paint. Okay, I only have a few seconds. You rub it in and it gives you this black Kind of a burnish. That's burnish amazing. Color. And that's and good for the boys, too. You know, put it on a strand, um, any idea, kind of string or ribbon or leather. In yeah. It's, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. You girls are the best. I love when you're here. Thank so. you so much for the ideas. And, of course, these ideas will be on our website. Be sure to check it out at Casa.com. And there's plenty more ahead on New Mexico Style. Coming up next, we're powering up with the right food to fuel your day. Don't go away. I want more frosting. Yeah, more fun. <laughs>